Welcome to the Loner Ranger Radio Show. My name is Bruce Woodburn, and yes, I am the Loner Ranger here on this beautiful Sunday morning. Thinking about buying a home, thinking about selling a home. Maybe it's time to talk to me about what do you need to do for your next step to get into buying your next property. I had a class this week that I, I held on uh, on real estate mastery on how to buy homes, how to sell homes, how to get in for the least amount of money po- possible, and how to accumulate lots of properties. You know, I teach this class that is truly designed on helping you gain wealth in real estate, generational wealth too. I mean, it's not one of those hokey pokey things where you got to sign up for this week long or weekend program, pay me $1,500 to get in it. No, 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 no. You know what? I've been teaching folks this for years and I do it because I'm passionate about doing it and I'm doing it because I like to watch you grow. I don't even charge anything for that. So there's no, there, 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 I got no horse in the race. I do it to help you understand how it worked for me. And I'm a, I got a 10th grade education. Well, that's not entirely true. I don't quite have a 10th grade because I didn't finish the 10th grade, but I do have a PhD. I do have a public high school diploma. Well, that's not true either. I have a public high school diploma if, equivalency from Seminole uh, Community College. But uh, yes, so how would somebody that never finished the 10th grade be qualified to teach people on how to amass wealth in real estate? Well, because I've done it. And I do it, and I'm passing it on to my children, and I'm passing it on to their children, and I'm teaching them how to duplicate those efforts. I developed a program called LeapFrog, and it's how you can get into a home, because I didn't have a lot of money to get into a home. So I had to always do minimum down payment programs, and I just got one after another, after another, after another, until I built up this quite uh, quite healthy um, portfolio of real estate and Uh, and rental incomes were making me lots of money. Now, I have made some mistakes along the way. One of my biggest mistakes was that uh, I sold most of my properties earlier than I probably should have because with all the appreciation that we've seen in the market lately, uh, if I would have kept kept them on for a few more years, would have really just... (laughs) I can't eat. Well, I don't even need to say it. You know what it would have done. If you have questions for me, I am the loan arranger, cross country mortgage, been in the mortgage business for 33 years. Come March 19th, it'll be 33 years. I have, in my opinion, the best mortgage company in the industry. Why do I say that? Not because of me, not because of me, but because of the people I surround myself with. We are dedicated to a great level of service. I'm a direct lender. I'm in all 50 states. I help people get what they need when it comes to getting a great mortgage and getting real estate advice. Call me at 407-706-3313, 407-706-3313, or go to my website to apply for a mortgage online at webringyouhome.com. That's webringyouhome.com. Attend any one of my classes. I'm also uh, teaching a class in April. I put this together, and I'm gonna I'm gonna share something with you guys because you guys are you know you guys are my 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 friends and family out there and my loyal listeners. And I love it when you y'all call me and and you know it, it, some of you are surprised that I actually answer the phone. Yes, that's my cell phone number that I give out. You guys now listen. You don't find any other mortgage companies on on the radio that give out their personal cell phone number. Why do I do that? Because my clients are important to me. The connection, the relationships are important to me. They're not important to Rocket Mortgage. They're not important to Bank of America. They're not important to Wells Fargo. They say they are in their commercials, but they're really not. But that's my life. I live here in Central Florida. I grew up here. My kids grew up here. I run my business here. I want my clients to know that they can stop in and see me. I want my clients to know that if they call me, they'll get a return phone call. I want my clients to know that they have somebody on this end that understands and will help them. So I'll tell you what. I told you at the beginning of the year, actually at the end of last year, that in 2022, my primary goal was to help 50 new buyers per month. Now, not just new clients. These are just first time home buyers that are renting, that are struggling to get in the market. Now, 
I bit off a hefty a hefty goal there because that was that's 600 transactions in a year just for first time home buyers. That's a lot. That's a great deal. And that may not sound like a lot to you, but 50 new clients that have never bought a home before coming through my door every month is a lot to chew. Now, why did that become such a difficult task to be able to undertake? Well, because the first time home buyer is becoming pushed out of the home buying opportunity more and more every single day. As you listen to this show, it's becoming harder and higher, harder. Why? Housing prices are continuing to rise. They're not going down, folks. Don't call me up and go, I don't want to buy because they're at an all-time high. Of course, they're at an all-time high. They were an all-time high yesterday. They're going to be at an all-time higher tomorrow. You can go back into history. Look at the history of houses. It's not that hard. You can Google it. Look at it. Start back from about 1959 when I was born and look at what housing did then. Come on. You could have bought a four, three for with a, you could have bought a four, three in, in Domerick for $7,500 in 1959. Now, then you got into the sixties and people went, Oh my gosh, real estate. It's hit $15,000 to buy a home. Who would have thought it'll never go any higher. That's ridiculous. Just keep saying that to yourself. Listen, the dollars don't matter. Last year, this time, $272,000 medium price. Right now, $329,000 medium price. If you can find one for three twenty nine, dollars but that is our recorded median price right now. So next year, it'll be three ninety. dollars And the year after that, it'll be four fifty. dollars And the year after that, it'll be five twenty five. dollars So it doesn't matter. Look at California. Just follow the path, guys. We just trail California. Look what you get in Santa Monica. Okay, Santa Monica, not the, you know, it's not, we're not talking downtown LA or, or, or Hollywood Hills or Beverly Hills, just the suburbs of Santa Monica. You couldn't buy a condo there for under 650, a one bedroom, one bath condo. Now, go back 20 years, look at their prices, same as ours are right now. Same thing. You can follow it. It's not that hard to do. So you might say it's getting out of hand for you or it's getting out of reach, and it is. But for those of you that already own, you're not going to have the challenges that a first-time homebuyer has because you're going to sell the house, you're going to make a ton of money when you sell it, and you're going to have a lot of money to put down. But getting into the game becomes more challenging for a first-time homebuyer. But guess what? The loan arranger, Bruce Woodburn, is here to help. I am committed to helping more of you. So I had this, matter of fact, let me give out my number just while you're listening, 407-706-3313. That's 407-706-3313 or webringyouhome.com. So I had a situation that actually happened right here in my family. My cousin, who is in her 70s, um, had prepared her will and trust that when she passes, that her two daughters would split her, her, their inheritance split all of her assets. Well, Christmas Eve, one of her daughters passed, changed everything, changed it all. So she looked back and she goes, well, who am I going to leave my money to? I still going to leave my money to one of my daughters, but all of my money I planned on leaving to the other one as well. So she had a place to live. Now she's out of the picture. So what am I going to do? So we looked at and she said, I have five grandchildren. I'll just leave each one of them one twentieth of each uh, of my estate. <clears throat> I said, okay, great. Let's look at each one of those. And what are they going to do with that money? So they're going to each get say 25 to $35,000. Okay. You've never had money before. You are a hardworking American and, but you've never, you, you don't, you don't have a real grasp on managing credit, understanding credit, managing money that you fall into, what are you going to do with it? I know what you're going to do with it. First thing you're going to do is buy an 80 inch screen TV. Okay. So it fills up your wall. Then you might go out and buy a Harley. Then you might go out and buy a Boston Whaler. I don't know, some other junk, right? Nothing to show for it. Now, then within a year or two, all the money will be spent and the Harley will be wrecked and the boat will be sitting in the side yard. So all this money that they would inherit will go to nothing, absolutely nothing. So I said, don't do that. 
give them the money, but it can only be used for the down payment of a home. She goes, but what if they never buy a home? What if they don't have the credit? What if they don't have the income? Well, I guess that gives you pretty good motivation then, doesn't it? So you got $35,000 staring you in the face. So in order to use it, you have to establish credit, maintain credit, and have a job to be able to pay the bills. Is that so bad? Is that so bad? So she's like, well, how am I going to do that? I said, well, I'm going to first of all help you. Second of all, when they have that money sitting out there and they see their cousin or their brother and their sister gets their money and they don't get theirs, it's going to be a problem. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to get motivated. And sometimes people need a little motivation. So listen, these kids that we're speaking of were homeschooled and not very well, okay? They do wouldn't know what to do if they put if you put the money in their hands right now it's going to be gone i mean it's just going to be gone and then nothing to show for it or we can change their life generationally meaning that once you buy a home you don't go back to renting nobody goes back to renting you continue to buy more homes or you sell that one home that home and get another one 407-706-3313 so here's what i'm doing I looked at that situation and I'm like, man, there are so many young folks out there that really have never had the opportunity or had the instructions on how to buy a home, how to maintain credit, the things that we should have learned when it came to uh, home economics or something. So I'm going to be teaching a class to young adults from the age of 15 to 32. Now, 15, so I can get you set up. So when, by the time you're 17, 18, 19, 18, 19, you got a credit card and you know how to use it and you're responsible about using it. Balancing a checkbook, building credit, how to use credit. So let's face this, guys, okay? When, when it comes to renting, renting is a form of enslavement, you are enslaved into your landlord. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a landlord. I got properties. I help people. But renting is an enslavement. You get into renting, and as the rent goes up, you can't afford to save money to go buy the house. It's the chicken and the egg. So how do you get out of renting? You got to break the cycle. Because renting is perpetuates poverty. And home ownership perpetuates wealth. And it's generational wealth. Because once you own, sooner or later, you're going to die. Who's going to get the property? They're going to get a bunch of equity in the property. Now, you can leave them money or you can leave them equity. Let it grow. Real estate will grow and people can't spend the money. So I like leaving my wealth to my kids in the form of real estate. Because if as long as they're taught on how to manage and pay bills and do all those things, then that real estate will build for them. So my kids are going to inherit all my properties, commercial and residential, but they're required to contribute five properties to it within their lifetime. And that's written in my will and trust them both kids. So they contribute to it. Their kids contribute to it. You see how you can you can establish a trust that will create generational wealth for many, many families along the way. Because if each family contributes five properties that are all paid off by the time they retire, imagine how much wealth is built in that. Now, listen, have you ever met a land baron that was poor? Really? Neither have I. Have you ever met somebody that was renting that was rich. No, neither have I. So rich people don't get rich and landowners get rich. It's simple. It's the secret. It's not rocket science. I want you to stop everything. Pick up the phone and get your kids or your, anybody you know that's renting into my class on April the 13th at 6 p.m. They must go to webringyouhome.com, go to my events page, and get them enrolled right away. If you are a parent or uh, grandparent, you can attend the class as well. 100 seats available. I'll be back in five minutes with more of the Lone Ranger Radio Show.
Welcome back to the Lone Ranger Radio Show with Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage. Yes, I am the Lone Ranger. Thank you for joining me on my show today on this beautiful Sunday morning. You know, we've been talking about helping more and more first time home buyers because they're at such a disadvantage. So, listen, a lot of my viewing or listening audience is <clears throat> mature adults. Okay, you're, you're listening to this show, you already own a home, but you got adult grandchildren, adult children that need your help. So let's just face it. At some point, you're going to leave them your money. And when you leave them your money, they're going to spend your money. And they're going to spend it on stuff that you would not have given the money for if you were writing the check for it. Like that new Boston Whaler, the Harley Davidson, the 80 inch screen TV, just things that aren't that important. Or you can have your inheritance money that you plan on leaving anyway, work for generations to come, leaving a legacy, help young people with your inheritance before you die. So you can watch them grow because here's the thing, young folks. Now they don't have the work ethic that we do. They don't have, they didn't have somebody that was really, you know, uh, showing them and teaching them the things that they needed to learn about balancing a checkbook about, you know, um, the language of money, uh, things that are super important. The one thing that can change their life is the pathway to home ownership because a lot of these folks, they're never going to end up buying a home if they don't have some help somewhere along the line. And some of you, you're going to have to help yourself because there isn't anybody to inherit money from. That was me. I wasn't going to inherit any money, not from my parents, not from my wife's parents. It wasn't going to happen. So if I was going to have some type of quality of life and be able to do the things that I wanted to do in life, then that choice was mine and mine only. Many of you are going to be in that same boat. But for those of you that are planning on leaving money, let's make it so there are restrictions for that. Let's show your grandchildren and your children that they can do it too. And lock that money up into real estate. It's going to grow and grow and grow. And here's the thing. you Let's just say you give them fifteen twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for a down payment on a house. Okay, it Seems like a lot, but it's really not in today's day and age. You can do it. You can help them out and do that, but it's going into a home. So then that home, let's just say it's a $300,000 home, 300, let's just say $350,000 home. So in a $350,000 home, your down payment on an FHA loan is going to be about $12,250. Okay. Then you can cover some closing costs. You're into the house for say $18,000. Said and done. Closing costs, escrows, taxes, insurance, everything. 18, 19 grand for a $325,000 house. Now, that $325,000 house only grows by 3% per year, not 23%, not 17% like we've seen in the last two years each, three years, but just 3%. The return on the investment at a 3% annual appreciation is an 86% return on your investment. How do I know that? It's my job to know that. So you just think about this. If the house at 325 goes up by 3%, that means that that house at 3, 325, let's just do the math, 325 times 3% is $9,750. Your down payment was $12,250. That's 86% of 12250 So in five years, you made 455% return on your investment. It's a no-brainer, guys. I can help your kids, your grandkids. Call me at 407-706-3313. That's 407-706-3313. Or send them right to my website at webringyouhome.com. Webringyouhome.com. Stay tuned. I'm going to tell you about a class I'm holding just for them so I can help guide them in the right direction. Be back in five minutes. 
Welcome back to the Lone Ranger Radio Show with Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage, on this beautiful Sunday morning. Uh, you know what? I got to tell you, um, let's do a little market update because my job is like a ride in a stagecoach these days. I'm watching the market, trying to see if there's any dips, but there's not a lot of dips, man. There ain't a lot of dip. You know what the dip is? The dip is not coming. The dip is going to be continued to see rising interest rates and that can tend to be a problem for many folks. So if you didn't like it when rates were at two and three quarters, and then you didn't like it when they're at three and a quarter, then you didn't like it when they were at three and a half, and you didn't like it when they were three and three quarters, well, now you're in the fours and you're pushing in the fives. So I expect that we'll see 6% rates coming along the line real soon. Why? Because inflation erodes the bond market. Okay, we got some alerts uh, during the week, this week on rising interest rates, these are what I call alert to locks. I have systems that keep me in line with when to lock and when to float. You know what? I'm not getting a lot of those float your your locks right now on interest rates these days, guys. They're going up. So we got inflation driving interest rates up. You got the Fed cutting back on tapering it, uh, on buying mortgage-backed securities, driving interest rates up. You have the looming inevitable, which is the Fed raising the Fed rates, and they haven't even done it yet. So, <clears throat> excuse me, interest rates going up, and the Fed didn't even raise the Fed rate yet. What do you think is going to happen after the Fed raises the Fed rate, guys? I mean, think about that. It's going to go higher and higher and higher. And you know what? So what? I don't, re- you know what? It is what it is. I don't care about those things because I will tell you, you buy real estate all the time. Real estate is the thing to do. Look, we just got the announcement out about two and a half weeks ago on the top 10 desirable cities to buy in and live in in America. This is all the cities in America. God knows how many cities there are in America. Number one, Tampa. Number two, Jacksonville. Number nine, Orlando area. Come on. Do you think that your property is going to go down in value in Orlando? That's nuts. It's not going to happen. Buy real estate, guys. I'm just telling you, I'm an idiot, and I made a lot of money in real estate. Why? Because I just kept buying real estate. Don't get yourself out of the loop. Don't go, ah, it's getting out of control. Ah, interest rates are going up. Ah, houses prices are going to go up. Yes, they are, and they're going to continue to go up. Just get in the game so that you see the benefits of it. 407 706 3313. That is my direct phone number. That's 407 706 3313. Or you can go to my website at webringyouhome.com. You can expect that interest rates are going to continue to rise. Don't be shy away from it. It's not going to hurt you. You know what? People bought homes when they were 18.5%. People bought homes when they're 2.5%. They all made money. So don't stop. Because you think that things are too high. You will only miss out on an opportunity. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, for all you folks that are considering buying multiple properties, let me show you the easiest and best way to do it. Because most people think they can't buy multiple properties because you've you got to put 20% down when you're buying an investment property. We all know that. It's a minimum of 20% and higher rates of interest. I do them all the time. I'm happy to help you with that. But if you're one of those that I'd like to own a lot of property, but I really don't have that kind of money to save to buy a lot of properties with 20% down. I mean, you think about it. That's $20,000 per hundred thousand. Well, if your average price is 300, 325, where are you going to come up with 70, 75 grand to buy a home every two years? That's for rich people. I don't know about you, but that was never in my ballpark. That couldn't happen. But I can help you with this because I can show you how to amass wealth by buying real estate with minimum amount down. You just have to follow my path. And the fee for me to coach you on that is extremely low. It should be a lot higher, but right now it's zero. So I will help you with that. All I'm asking is that you send your friends and family over to me so I can help them too. That's all. That's all I'm asking. 
407-706-3313. That's 407-706-3313. Or go to my website at webringyouhome.com. Now, let's see some other things that are happening in the market right now other than interest rates rising. Well, housing uh, uh, starts are are doing well, but they're all going in the way of builders. And a lot of you don't want to buy with a builder. I mean, you might, you might not. I got, a, I know all the builders. I know which ones to go to. Hanover Family Builders, Land C Homes, Land C just purchased Hanover Family Builders. I've been the approved lender for Hanover Family Builders, my all-time favorite builder for a number of years. Why? Not because I'm an approved lender for them. I'm an approved lender for them because I love their product and they trust that I'm going to take good care of their clients. Now, they've been purchased by Land C Homes. I've never met the owners of Land C Homes, but I don't know if Land C Homes is going to continue to keep me as one of their lenders. I don't know if the quality of builder, the, uh, the quality of the way they build their homes is going to be up to the same par as Hanover Family Builders. That will remain to be seen. But what I do want to do is I'm trying to reach the president, John Ho, that owns Lancey Homes to make sure that he knows that he's got somebody that believes in the product that Hanover's built. And I love to help drive traffic to their communities because I believe in them. So, I want all my listeners out there to hear me and reach out to John Ho, the president of Lancey Homes, and say, let's keep the loan arranger, Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage, the prime lender for Lancey Homes. I'm just looking for your help out there. Help me. I'm always willing to help you. Just help me. If you want some contact information, Text me at 407-706-3313. Let's help Land C Homes continue to grow. Let's help them stay the premier builder in Central Florida. Let's help them and let's hope that they do what they can to keep me the lead lender on their team. Looking for some help. Maybe a few letters might be nice. 407-706-3313. I am the loan arranger. I am Cross Country Mortgage. I lend in all 50 states. I'm one of the top producers, not only in Central Florida, but in the country. Why? Not because I'm so great. Because I align myself with people that take good care of you, my customer. That's why it's still service. A lot of people, if I ask 10 people on the street, Hey, what's the most important thing you get when you get a mortgage? Well, interest rate. Well, interest rate is really important. It's probably one of the most important factors, but what if you can't reach the lender when you need it? What if you're not getting the house that you want because you're up against multiple offers? What if that, uh, you're, you're trying to close and all of a sudden there's a last minute issue on your, on your loan. Have, do you ever think that people are issued pre-approval letters from lenders and then the transaction falls apart the day or two days before closing? You ever heard of that happening? Guess what guys happens all the time. Why? Lenders don't take care of their clients. Lenders aren't clear enough with the expectation that you, the client have to supply us with. So my team of experts know what we need to get your loan approved. We've got multiple systems. Like my realtors love my systems because first of all, no lead goes uncalled. No lead goes untext. No lead goes unemailed. I am there to service my client. Now that doesn't mean I'm going to pester people that, that call me and just inquire. I want everyone to know that wants great service and wants to get a mortgage or wants to get a house that they have somebody in the business they can trust. Somebody that's their neighbor somebody that's been in the market a long time, somebody that they can call. If they had a problem, they can go, Hey, Bruce, I don't understand this. Or can you tell me why? Or you know what? I applied for a loan and I'm not sure of what's going on with my loan right now. Now, first of all, that should never happen on my watch. But if it does, guess who you call? You call the loan arranger. He fixes the problem. If you're a real estate agent and you've got clients that are falling apart at the closing, you're needing extensions on transactions, your buyers are making multiple offers and not getting selected, it's because you don't have the right tools in your toolbox. Use me as your tool. I'm a tool, okay? You can use me as a tool. 407-706-3313. 407-706-3313. I'm the loan arranger, and I am here to make your life better when it comes to building wealth 
and buying real estate. I'm helping first time home buyers. I'm helping buy people buy these beach condos. I'm helping people with, uh, with investment properties. I have the best construction perm loans in the market. You don't want to buy an existing home. You don't want to buy a track home where you can't even park your jet ski in the side yard. Let's go find a piece of property. Let's build a house on it. You want a luxury property. My friends at AR, Arthur Ruttenberg, used to be Arthur Ruttenberg, called AR Homes out in Bella Kalina. Have you seen Bella Kalina? You want, are you a luxury buyer? You want to buy from a million five to $3 million? I'm doing loans out there like crazy. My friends at Arthur Ruttenberg and Bella Kalina are over the top amazing. You want luxury? You want the finest house let me help you with that. My jumbo loans are out of this world amazing. So most jumbo loans, including mine, for the most part, require a 20% down payment. My interest rates are even better than conventional interest rates. I can help you with that. 407-706-3313. My jumbo products are over the top. If you're high end, call me. I want your business. I'm going to show you I'm the right choice. Now, but here's the, another thing. Listen to, here, here's my folks out there that are listening to the show and you're high net worth, okay? You make a lot of money. You're making, say, 200 and up, okay? And you're buying $2 million properties. But you're like, you know, Bruce, I don't want to put 20% down. I don't want to put down four or five, six dollars $600,000 to buy this house. Do I have any alternatives? Yes, you do. I can do a jumbo loan up to a million five with three and a half percent down, no PMI. Interest rates still low. I'll go to a million seven fifty, five percent down, no PMI. You heard me, no PMI. What? How can you ever get a loan like that? Even FHA has PMI. Even conventional loans have PMI if you don't put 20% down. VA loans have funding fees. Oh, you want a VA loan? I got VA loans. Million five, zero down. Come on, guys. You don't have to go to USAA. You don't have to go to Veterans United. You can go to the loan arranger. I've been specializing in VA loans for 30 years. You won't find somebody that'll take better care of you than the loan arranger. That's what I'm here for. 407 706 3313. 407 706 3313. That's my phone number. Text me there. Call me there. Go to my website at webringyouhome.com. I'm committed to helping you. Man, you a veteran, you law enforcement, you first responder, you an educator. I just taught 360, 355 people in Jacksonville last weekend at the uh, Teachers Union, educator, Educators uh, Union in Jacksonville and got there and I'm helping dozens of teachers become first-time home buyers. Dozens of teachers buy their second home. Listen, you don't have to be rich to get rich. You don't have to make the most money to be able to amass wealth. All you have to do is be smart. You invest in real estate. You keep investing in real estate and your wealth will grow and grow and grow. It's not complicated. Just find the people that can help you in that direction. And I'm volunteering for the job. I'm applying for the job. 407-706-3313. I'm the loan arranger. You have any questions about construction loans? How about renovation loans? You found a house. It's a kind of a mm, fixer upper, let's say, but it's in a great neighborhood. You like the footprint. You want to do a renovation loan? Call me. I'll do a renovation loan, FHA, VA, conventional. No problem. Build on your own lot. No problem. Zero money down USDA. No problem. VA zero down payment, no problem. FHA, no credit score limitations. No credit score limitations. I don't have credit scores on FHA. Now, you still got to qualify, but last month, my son Chase closed a 506 credit score. 506 credit score, FHA. Month before, 511. Show me a lender that does a 511 or a 506 credit score. They don't exist out there. The loan arranger does it. That's right. I can show you. I'll show you we can do it. You call the Loan Arranger at 407-706-3313 or go to my website at webringyouhome.com. Let's help the world become homeowners. I need you guys to help me. Teachers, pastors, anybody in church, youth groups, get them into my first-time home buyer and how 
uh, learn the things that no one told me on April 13th at 6 p.m. It's a Zoom class. WeBringYouHome.com. I'll be back in five minutes. Welcome back to the last segment of the Lone Ranger Radio Show with Bruce Woodburn. I want to first of all thank you guys for tuning into my show. I hope I'm bringing value to your life. If not, maybe a little entertainment. Who knows? But, you know, ultimately I'm here to help you and your family when it comes to buying or selling real estate, getting a great mortgage when it's time to get a mortgage. Also keeping you informed as to what's going on in the real estate market and the finance market. Even if you already own a home, it's important that you keep up to speed on those kind of things. And you don't get that from the fake news. It's all garbage, but you'll get the real deal from me. So here's the real deal. In a nutshell, interest rates are rising and houses prices are going to continue to go up. So you can curl up in a ball because interest rates are rising and you can miss out on the opportunity to buy homes in this great market. Listen, here's the thing. Orlando, voted ninth best place to live in america do you think our home prices are going to go down come on we got all these people coming in from new york and new jersey and washington and all these all these blue states where they want to get away from this craziness okay all this nuttiness that's going on up there defund the police it's just ridiculous okay we need a country of safe places where we can raise our family in america That's what I'm all about. So I don't know if you know this, but I was not born in America. I was born in another country and immigrated here when I was a baby with my parents. I did not become an American citizen till 2008. And let me tell you something. You won't find more of a patriot than me. I am all about America. And I don't like these idiots screwing it all up with critical race theory and all these stupid things that they're talking about. Listen, We're all children of God. We're all equal. Don't put yourself above anybody else. You're not. Trust me, you're not. Neither am I. We're all the same. Underneath that skin, everything's all the same color, baby. It's all the same color. So I don't care what you believe. You can believe whatever you want in the privacy of your own home. But don't spread garbage to my children and my friend's children. It's not about that. Now, I'm sorry. It's my show. I can talk about whatever I want. Here's what I'm going to thank you for. You're on your way back from church. You're on your way to church. You're getting ready to work in the yard. You're mowing, edging, vacuuming, doing the laundry, all the things that we're doing at home. I want you to know that I appreciate you, that I care about you. I care about you. I care about your kids. I care about your grandkids. I care about your friends. How can I give back to you? I am teaching a class on April the 13th. For young adults, 15 to 32. This will be a Zoom class. 100 seats available. Believe me, they're not going to last. I'm going to teach the things that nobody taught me. I'm going to tell them how to balance a checkbook, how to maintain credit, how to build credit, why young adults are at a disadvantage right now and how they need help. I will help save them. Look it. I'm going to teach them the things that home economics was supposed to teach you in the past but don't teach you anymore. All right, we're going to talk about our society. Our society is encouraging mediocrity. You don't have to be mediocre. You can be an average, everyday American, hardworking person making an average income and amass wealth. You can do it. I did it. I'm helping people do it. You don't have to be a doctor, a lawyer, or an Indian, or whatever it is, senator's son, to be able to make a lot of money. You don't have to make a lot of money to a amass a lot of money you just got to do it the right way look at i want to show you how you can take your first gen like your first generation may have been the first one to generate or uh, graduate from high school then college maybe you've never owned a home before listen once you own a home you'll never rent again you'll never rent again and listen renting perpetuates poverty home ownership perpetuates wealth There's no other way around it. Call me, Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage. I will help each and every one of you buy your next home, sell your next home, take care of the mortgage needs for you, 407-706, excuse me, I got a little choked up there, 407-706-3313, 407-706-3313, or webringyouhome.com. 
God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for tuning into my show. I appreciate each one of you. And always feel free to call me on my direct number at 407-706-3313 or webringyouhome.com.